Heat president Pat Riley gave his head coach Eric Spolstra a vote of confidence on Thursday. Sometimes that's, that's not a good thing. But with a five-game losing streak, his team could use a jolt of confidence. Yeah, you beat the two-time reigning champions. That would qualify as a jolt. Kobe Bryant and the Lakers with an eight-game winning streak. They're in Miami. They got pounded by Miami in their only other meeting this season. Heat been getting pounded, and their coach taking a beating as well. Five straight losses, the whole crying game thing. Stan mentioned the vote of confidence. This is how Pat Riley put it. Write it off, write it off. It's the media being neurotic. It's their need to make a story, create a story, and make that story come true. And that ain't going to happen. Write it off. We're just in a tough time right now. We'll get through it. Hold on to the rope. Uh, early first, Mario Chalmers, he, he hit three threes in the first quarter, and he's saying, and, and, and you're showing the turnover that led to Kobe Bryant's bucket? Come on. Bryant, 12 points in the first quarter, but LeBron James had the top play in the first quarter. That's it right there off the glass. A TPN, Miami up 29-26 after one. James, eight points, three, bound, three rebounds, four assists in the first quarter. Chris Bosh, man, he said he went Keyshawn recently. He said, give, you, give me the ball. Points in the paint figured to go L.A.'s way. It did not because of Bosch, who had 16 in the first half on 7 of 11 shooting, and he got the halftime interview. Nah, it's just me being more assertive. You know, uh, coach is always giving them, us the freedom to do what we want in the offense, and, and, you know, I have to go down there and, and just be a presence. Miami was up two at the half. Lakers went on a 9-0 run to take a six-point lead. Their biggest of the game. It's now four. Lakers turn it over. James finishes in transition. It's a two-point game. Closing seconds, third quarter. Heat down four again. James with Ron Artest guarding him with .2 on the clock. Seven turnovers in the quarter for Miami, and they're down just two going into the fourth quarter. It's in Lakers now up. Lakers now down two. Now tied. Pau Gasol, 20 points, five rebounds. Dwayne Wade, he really struggled with his outside shot, but he got aggressive, went to the hole there. Heat take the lead. Kobe Bryant, having missed his last seven shots, hits the three, the Lakers back in front. It was a heavyweight fight like this. What a game to watch. Three minutes to play, Wade misses. Ball knocked out to James, he passes up the three. Wade underneath beats Gasol, Heat by three. Kobe Bryant comes back, just eight of 21 overall, but four of eight from three, heck, you should get four when you hit it from that far out. 88, 88, and Kobe's got that look. 90 seconds to play, play of the game right here. Wade strips Kobe Bryant, James takes off. I mean, he's got a gear that a lot of fellas don't have, and the Heat take the lead, and they are not going to give it back. Just over a minute to play. Lakers down two. Bryant misses the jumper. Artest misses down low. That would have tied the game. Take a look. If you're a Laker fan, you want Zydernis Elgowskis to be called for goaltending. It was not. Under a minute. Heat by two. Wade, eight of his 20 in the fourth quarter. Again, being aggressive. Going to the hole. LeBron James came out. Helped set the screen on Kobe Bryant. 45 seconds to play. Lakers down four. Kobe, ball down low, loses it out of bounds. I mean, Dwayne Wade was like glue on Bryant. If you get, if you're a Laker fan, you want to, you want a foul called on Wade there. But that ball clearly went off Kobe Bryant's hands. 25 seconds to play. Lakers down four. Kobe hit one from nearly that distance earlier. It's late. It doesn't go. 94-88 Miami. Lakers, their first loss in nine games. The Heat end their five-game losing streak. Lakers coach Phil Jackson earlier Thursday, he, he compared the Heat offense to an Xbox video game. Now, I don't play video games, but if... Come Eric, on, tell the truth. I don't, but if Eric <laughs> Spolster did, he'd want Bosch on his team. 24 points, nine rebounds. Bosch, the big difference in this one. He was very aggressive. He had a, a terrific mindset. Uh, this morning in the shoot around really set the tone for everybody. He was uh, dead serious about his approach uh, and he made sure that everybody else was serious about it and uh, it really uh, it really was contagious. It was just a relief really you know um, this was a very big game we had every everything riding on this game really to be honest with you and, and everybody wanted to win very badly. You know, it feels good to win a, ga win a game the way you've been losing games. You know, um, we knew this game was going to come down to the end, and, you know, just like the last couple games that we've lost here at home, especially, we had to figure out a way and find a way. 
um, and we did that. I think it also means that um, we still can't win games in five points or less. Um, you know, we won by six tonight. I should have missed one of those free throws late in the game, so we still can't crack that uh, five points or less thing from close games. Everybody funny. Now you funny, too. Chris Bosch, get him the ball! During the Heat's five-game losing streak, Bosch got less than 13 shots per game. Thursday, he took 17, scored a team-high 24 points, 59% shooting. We go to Tim Legler. What's this win mean for Miami? The way that they played and the way that they won, I think, is very important because they got some efforts and some contributions tonight that we haven't seen out of this team recently. Mainly, somebody else shooting the basketball down the stretch, making plays. LeBron being a fantastic facilitator and playmaker. Chris Bosh being more aggressive in the paint and scoring, going to the rim, not settling for jump shots. And great contributions out of your bench and role players. Defense was there as well. Now moving forward, can they sustain it? They're in the midst of the toughest stretch of the season as far as their schedule is concerned. Now you've got to maintain momentum and start to cruise toward the playoffs. Heat in their losing streak. How about the schedule? Saturday, the Grizzlies, followed by games against the Spurs and Thunder. San Antonio, Oklahoma City games can be seen on ESPN and ESPN3.com. To the other side of Thursday's game, Kobe Bryant. Some mistakes, you know <clears throat> Uh, offensive rebounds, I mean, it had 12 offensive, offensive rebounds the first half. I mean, we don't do that. I mean, that's uncharacteristic of us. And, you know, turnovers, I turned the ball over late in the game when the game was tied, and, you know, stupid stuff like that. I mean, those are easily correctable things, and we'll do a better job. Yeah, I mean, the shot, the shots were fine. I mean, the ones I had lined up, I was making. And the one in the corner, you know, they just missed it. it plain and simple. I knew I was going to make it. I mean, I had a good rhythm on the three-point shots. I had it lined up. Uh, he fouled the hell out of me. He just missed it. Less than an hour after the game ended, there he is, Bryant, back at it, shooting jumpers. There are a lot of other things he could be doing in Miami. Shot for nearly an hour and a half, Lakers Saturday at Dallas. Rachel Nichols talked with Bryant after the late-night workout, and that's later on this show.